guys, it's Jennifer. I'm back. Thanks so much for tuning in. So today we're going to talk about Jamboards. I'm going to break this video down into uh, how to use Jamboard for therapy and then how to make your own Jamboard, share it, and save it so that you have some writing samples. So I recently went to a workshop and they used Jamboard and my mind automatically went to how can I use this in therapy? Because I have lots of kids that were still trying to work on handwriting or typing and they're bored with some of my techniques and I'm trying to make it fun and this is new and different and fun. Uh, so families can jump on board as well and get some new ideas on how to use Jamboard for handwriting and typing techniques. So stay tuned because I will give you lots of new ideas and then exactly show you how to set up the Jamboard and share it, share the link so that you can um, have it for different therapy sessions. Thanks. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's me. I am back. So this portion of the video, I'm going to share my screen and show you the Jamboard, pa Jamboard pages that I made so that you can get an idea of how I'm using them in therapy. So this one, I made a board and I just put a word on there, Thanksgiving. And I'm going to go to sticky notes over here and type in things that I think of when I think of Thanksgiving. So I'm going to have one color and the person that I'm working with is going to have another color. So if I'm yellow and I type in pumpkins, there it is. I'm going to save it and it comes up on my board and then I can move it around. So family pumpkin and you can play a game so that if you both come up with the same word, you have to come up with another one or see who can get the most in a minute. So that's my one idea. My next idea are here are some things to make in an apple pie. So I wrote some ingredients down here and we can put them in the yes, not sure or no category. It will give you an opportunity to talk to mom and find out how to make an apple pie or maybe look up a recipe online. You can even do that together with a screen share. The next one is what's in my bag. So this is a um, imaginative game and you get, it's kind of like 20 questions. So depending on whose turn it is, you can ask the question, does it have four legs? Can I buy it at the grocery store? Is it bigger than a bread box? So you get the gist of it. And I'm using sticky notes for this. Um, but if you wanted to work on this for typing skills, if you wanted to work on writing skills, you can use a pen. And there are different um, sizes here so that you would just pick the color that you want and then write with it. And I'll explain exactly how to make your own Jamboard in my next section of this video, so stay tuned. Um, this is another one. I have a lot of kids that we are working on eating a wider variety of uh, foods. So I thought maybe we could make a board for the kid or for the family so that we can talk about what they ate for dinner or what they ate for lunch. And look, you've eaten you know, chicken nuggets three times in a row. Let's find something new that you can eat. So that's one idea. Um, Tic-tac-toe, super easy, work on those X's and those O's, and fun, lots of strategy, easy. Hangman, um, so this is a phrase uh, that I did, and then they can write, they can make their own body, or you can make the body, doesn't matter. And you can take turns with this so that they can get a turn to guess the letters, and then you can get a turn to guess the letters. Um, you can give them choices. Listen, I've made four pages, so pick which page you want to do first so that they feel like they've got some control over it. And you know what? Kids are pretty creative, so maybe they'll come up with their own game. The next idea I had was some sentence copying. So I wrote my favorite season is fall. And I have a lot of kids that were working on copying. Are they getting upper and lowercase correctly? Are they getting um, periods and sentences, capital letters, that kind of thing? Um, you can come up with as many sentences as you want, or maybe they can type a sentence. Um, the next one is your name. So you, I put my name on here and I, oops, I, sorry, let me go back. I need to put it in, put myself in sticky notes, and I need to um, put it in order. So J, E, N, and you get the idea. There is an eraser here, so that line, if it really bugs you, I can just go here and erase it. Not a big deal. So even if they put their name in order, I gotta go back to sticky notes to get it in the right thing. 
Um, even if they put it in the right order, then maybe underneath they can You can work on first name, you can work on last name. Then I can go to pen and let's say I want to use the thick one and green and I can write the name here. So in this specific situation, I like using stylus because it mimics a pen um, and or a pencil and they can get a lot of um, writing practice in that way. Here's my I. F, you get the gist. So let me go to my next one. And this is easy peasy. So um, you can pull up pictures from your own um, photo collection or you can get it from the internet and I will show you how to do that in the next section of this. But maybe you could either already have the words written there or you could write um, the word and they need to move it to the right animal um, or they can write it with the pen or you can do it a bajillion different ways or what sound does the animal make so you just have to make it appropriate for your own child or the one that you're working with um, so this one i thought would be a good idea to use for sensory kids like you're looking like you're pretty overwhelmed right now or we need to calm down these are the three options that you have home which one do you want um, so that was an idea that you can use in pictures. And again, I'll show you how to do that quickly. Um, find the word, so it's kind of like a word scramble. Find the words that are spelled wrong. So maybe I could have five that are spelled correctly, five that are spelled wrong, or, um, or let, use it as a word scramble and then they can write or type in um, how to spell it correctly. You can make your own um, crossword puzzle kind of thing if you typed individual letters. So if you did something like this, H, save, E, save, L, save, P, save. And then you went here, H, and you wanted to do something like this. And then you can create some words around it. Something like that you could do easily. And that is what I had for my ideas. Honestly, sky is the limit with this. So use your imagination and, um, and go for it. So I'm going to sign off, stop sharing, and come back in a second so that I can show you how to make your own Jamboard. Hey guys, I'm back for the last segment. This way, I'm going. This one, I am going to show you how to make your own Jamboard. Um, and trust me, if I could do it, you could do it. So I'm going to share my screen and get you started. I'm going to move myself down in the middle so you can see. So I got myself to Google, and I happen to have several accounts. So I'm going to change to the account I want to use. Um, and I'm going to go to my grid, and I'm going to scroll until I find Jamboard. And there it is, right here, Jamboard and click all right so this was a recent one i was trying to work on but i'm going to remove it just so i can start from the very beginning okay and it says that i don't have a jam yet so i'm going to go in my lower right hand corner click on the double click on the plus sign and it says untitled jam i'm going to rename this to jennifer and if you had different kids and you wanted to rename it to so each one has their own file you can do that so there we go now this is how you get um, more frames frame two out of two three out of three so up in the upper you can see where my cursor is so the first one that i'm going to start with is a set background so i like this a lot there's a grid there's a plane um there's dots you can't see very well, but the grid one is something that I would use as an OT. So I set the background as a grid, and then I go over here and I um, make it 200%. I'm gonna start with the pen. So my choices are pen, marker, highlighter, and paintbrush. I'm gonna click on the pen, and I'm gonna make it blue, and I'm gonna go over to one of my grids, and I'm going to write my name. So as OTs, we really like grids a lot because we can work on sizing and spacing. Maybe you had a math problem and the kids were having a trouble lining things up. 
So we wanted to make sure that they were in the right grid, we could do that. So if I wanted to clear the frame, I would just clear the frame, go back to background, and as you can see, that changes it just a little bit in terms of the darkness. Here's blue and here's black. So I'm gonna go back to white just because I think it's easier for me to see. Um, so you saw how I used the pen. So the pens, um, here's the highlighter. Or actually it's the marker and I can doodle. And if I really didn't like what I did, I could clear my frame. Or if I wanted to draw something bigger like this and was like, mm, I don't like it. The next one down is the eraser. So you can go to the eraser and you can erase just by highlighting on it. So this is also a good tracing tool, right? It's kind of like the dry erase um, that we use with our wet, right, right, wet, dry. Um, the next one is the sticky notes. So sticky notes are fun. We can type, this is where I typed um, help and save, and it comes up on my board and I can move it around and I can make it smaller. I go in the corner and I make it smaller. Um, and then same thing if I wanted to clear my frame. Uh, the next one is pictures. This one is fun. So you click on Google image search. This is where we typed in the dog. And we got all the pictures of dogs. Super cute. Um, so let's pick this little guy and then push select. And where is he on my frame? Let's see, add an image dog. Oh, my computer is thinking. Select. Oh, here he is over here. <laughs> here he is. Um, and if I wanted to make him smaller, same thing. I'm going to go in the lower right hand corner to make him smaller. If I wanted to tilt him sideways, maybe we can talk about upside down, right side up, that kind of thing. Um, that is how you do an image. I'm gonna clear that frame. The next one is the circle. So the circle has different shapes and this would, if you wanted to work on shape recognition or drawing. So here's the circle. And then I click on the circle and I could color it. I could fill it in with a solid. I could outline it with a different color. Um, and then if I wanted to erase it to work on that, I would go, oh, I guess that does not work with that. Good to know. I would go clear frame and it would be off. The next one is the text box. So this is a text box and you can use large, I have a visually impaired kid, so we use large displays for that. Um, or you could just make it a title. You can change the color and we can write, um, name, writing. So you can move it around and you can label your frame name writing if you wanted to. So I'll play the frame. And then the laser. So the laser is fun because when you make it, it goes away. So maybe you could do some kind of chase game and have fun with that. So now we have our board. Let's get a sticky note up here and call our board. Let's, name, let's do the name writing here. Name writing. Save it. No, oh, there it is name writing and we now want to share it so i'm going to go over to the upper right hand corner and find share if i have other people in my group i can share it with them um, by adding people here and i've got some other names in there um, oops i have some other names in there that are in my group um, but let's say that I have somebody who's not in my group and I want to share it. This is what I've done the most with. So I'm going to, um, I want to change to anyone in the link. 
right? So I, you see how in it says viewer here. If I want the kid to also write, I can make it an editor and done. So I'm, and they give me the link. So I'm going to copy the link and you can either email it to them or you can go back and put it in the chat. And then it comes up and they just need to um, click on it. So I hope that that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'd love to hear how you use using Jamboard in your therapy sessions. It's super fun and it's for me new and different and exciting. So I'm already having fun with it. Thanks, stay safe and wash your hands.